So um, the way you do the combination is you plot precision against recall, right? Because, right, and why is that interesting? Because you know that as a function of rank, precision is always going to go down and recall is always going to go up. So the tendency is not particularly interesting. So let's just plot one against the other, right? <clears throat> so how can you do that? Say we have one query there and those are the relevant documents. Uh, if we plot precision against recall, we're going to get numbers that kind of look like that, right? So uh, first document is relevant, so uh, precision is 100%. Now precision is on the y-axis, and recall is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Recall is 20%, one out of five documents uh, I have found at rank 1, right? Next document is non-relevant, so my recall stays the same at 20%. My precision drops down to 50, and... Uh, next document is relevant, so my precision is up to two-thirds, my recall is up to 40%, and so on and so forth, right? So that's how I would get a curve, a recall precision curve, from this ranking. And now I have a second ranking. Uh, that ranking is slightly different, but I can get a similar curve from that, right? So first document is non-relevant, so the first point is 0, 0, uh, 0 precision, 0 recall. Then I get a relevant document, and this query only has three relevant documents. So my recall is going to jump to 33%, one-third, and my precision is, is going to jump to 50%, right? Because half the documents at rank 2 are relevant, and so on and so forth. <clears throat> so uh, this is great, and what I get is a bunch of points, and uh, if I were, uh, I guess, if I wanted to connect them with a line, I could in the way that I have it, um, in the way that I have it here. But remember that these lines, they don't actually exist. Right, these lines are ephemeral. We only really have the points. I'm just drawing the lines to connect the points of the same color, not for anything more. Um, so the next natural question is, you don't run experiments on one query. You typically run them on a lot of queries. So if you do this on 50 queries, say, you'll end up with 50 curves. And 50 curves are a mess to look at. Right. So what you want to do is you want to average them in some way construct a single curve that is the average of a bunch of queries, and that'll give you an idea of an average performance of your system over a bunch of different queries. Because each query is going to have its own little biases, so you want to, you want to average out those, uh, those effects. So how are you going to average this curve and that curve? And that actually turns out to be non-trivial, right? Because, for example, say I wanted to measure precision at 50% what is precision at 50% recall? I don't have a point there. I don't have a point there for the first ranking, for, the, for query one, and I don't have a point there for query two. There is no point with a 50% recall. So what precision am I going to assign? Uh, there's no point, so you can't do anything. Uh, what you have to do is you're going to have to interpolate between the points in one way or another. So you you're going to try to infer some value for recall of 50% based on other precision values for query 1 and for query 2. <clears throat> so you need to interpolate. The question is, how can you interpolate? Uh, there's actually a bunch of different ways in which you could interpolate, but there is one standard that has been agreed upon uh, through, uh, through much pain and suffering. <laughs> and... <clears throat> Uh, and, 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 and the standard is, is based on the following intuition. On average, if you look at things over thousands and thousands of queries, precision tends to decrease as recall increases, right? So that is the average tendency over lots and lots of different data sets. Right? So precision is a monotonically decreasing function of the recall, usually. Not always, right? It's obviously not monotonically decreasing in either of these cases. But in general, that's what happens. With higher recall comes lower precision. So the way that they've decided to uh, interpolate <coughs> these graphs is to preserve the monotonicity of the function. So preserve the strictly monotonic decrease. And what does this mean? This means that for every level of recall that you have, <clears throat> the way you estimate precision at that level of recall is you look to the right and you see the highest precision that you observe to the right of a given point, and that's going to be your precision at this point, right? So, <clears throat> for example, uh, let's say I'm here. I'm at a recall of 
uh, 20%, and I want to measure my precision. Now, I do actually have a point here. The recall at the precision of 20% is 50. Well, sorry, the precision at recall of 20% is 50. But instead of taking that 50, what I'm going to do is, for that recall, I'm going to look to the right, and I'm going to see the maximum, the highest precision that I have to the right of that point. And the highest precision that I have is 2 thirds right there. So I'm going to take that value and use that as the value for this entire range. So precision at point 2 is going to be 50, and precision at point 25 is going to be 50, and precision at point 3 is going to be 50, all the way up to point 4, and so on and so forth. So now, uh, this is an optimistic interpolation. It basically means that what I'm doing is I'm, I'm taking a piecewise constant blanket. Right? So imagine such a thing. And I'm throwing it on top of my recall precision curve. And that blanket basically gives me an upper bound on the, recall, on the original recall precision numbers. Uh, that is a way to interpolate. Uh, now, you could think that this is a silly way to interpolate, but for many reasons this has been agreed as the standard way to interpolate. There's, there's, trust me, it, it's been a long discussion. <laughs> and they, the <clears throat> right. So, the red line is going to be our new interpolated function for query 1. Right? And for query 2, we will get something like that. Right? So, anything up until recall of 33% is going to have a precision of 0.5. And anything below that is going to take the maximum precision value, which is, uh, I can't tell what that is. That's something. Uh, OK, great. So this is, uh, this, is what, this is what you get. This is the way that you interpolate the points into a, single, uh, in, into a single function. Once you have this function, you've interpolated the values. Now you have decided on a value for every for every, for every recall level. So you can just compute the average of the two curves, right? And the average in this case uh, would look something like that. So um, take the average of this value and this value, and I get that. Average of this and this, and I get that. Here I take the average of this and this, and I get that. Um, typically, recall precision, uh, typically this average curve is computed over, 10, uh, over 11 standard levels of recall. So you have recall of 1, 10%, 20% all the way to uh, to 100%, right? And, and then you just report precision uh, at those levels. Right? So if you do that, uh, and uh, so this is an example of something you would get. This is averaged over 50 different queries. So uh, you, have ten, uh, you have 11 recall points. You have precisions at various points. So what do you do with this graph, right? You've computed this graph. You use this graph to decide if one system is better than another. So uh, maybe this was my system A. Right, and if I had another system B, right, so uh, what does this tell me? Can I say if system A is better than system B? No, I can't because the curves intersect, right? What this means is system A seems to do better at the high ranks, at the high precision region, so maybe it's more accurate there, uh, but system B seems to do better in terms of recall. So down in the ranking, right, so for system A to get to 100% recall, it, it gets really minuscule precision. This means that by the time it gets to 100% recall, it has probably retrieved the entire corpus, the entire collection, because the precision is zero. Uh, and system B seems to be doing a lot better, right? So by the time you get to 100% recall, you're only at 20% precision. So you, uh, system B was able to cut out a lot of junk at getting towards 100% uh, recall, right? So one system is better for, say, precision-oriented users, web users, and another system would be better for, uh, say, medical professionals or, or, or lawyers. Right? <clears throat> now, uh, if you have a curve for system C that looks like that, well, there you get a clear domination. What that means is system A is better than system e C at any level of recall. So regardless of whether you are a high precision user or a high recall user, algorithm A is uh, preferable to algorithm C, right? So that's a way to show that your system is indeed better than um, another system. 